Today I will show you how you can really easily create two different styles of the same photo, two different variations using Lightroom or Photoshop. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another really fun episode. Everything that I will show you today you can choose to do both in Photoshop or Lightroom. It's completely up to you and because I do most of my tutorials using Photoshop, I will do a switch today so I will do everything in Lightroom today. In case you don't have Lightroom, you can just go in Photoshop and use Photoshop's camera row and follow exactly the same steps. So sit back, relax and enjoy. And before we start, I just want to say that this episode is sponsored by Skillshare. So thank you Skillshare for that. Skillshare is a huge online learning community with more than 25,000 classes in practically anything that you can think of, like Photoshop, uh, Lightroom, Premiere Pro, Illustrator, or even 3D like Cinema 4D, 3D Studio Max, ZBrush, or 3D printing, or maybe uh, some business, marketing, Facebook, Instagram, I don't know, whatever you need, they have it, like cooking, running, it's there. So they're pretty affordable too. The annual plan is less than $10 per month. And I really love them and using them to gain some new skills and improve my current sp skills, especially in 3D and After Effects. I'm telling you all of this because Skillshare is sponsoring this video and they are giving you two months completely free all the content there. So you will get a premium account, two months completely free so you can gain some new skills or improve some current skills for free. All you need to do is to go down in the description, follow the link and sign up for two months completely free. And after that, if you like the content, you can just continue with the subscription. If not, you can just cancel it, no questions asked. I strongly advise you to take this opportunity, it's completely free. So just go there, follow the link down there in the description and enjoy the content. Right guys, now let's jump straight into the Lightroom and let the fun begin. Right guys, we are here in Lightroom and today we will play with this photo. I will show you how to create two different moves, two different variations out of this. And if you want, you can go down there in the description, check out the link, download this photo and follow the tutorial along with me. All right, so first look, I want to create something more like orange and teal, but not like quite orange and teal. I just want to change uh, this yellowish thing, everything to orange and to do um, more bluish shadows and a bit to change uh, her and maybe add more contrast, etc. So let's start with that. Let's start by changing the color. So I will go down. First, I want to change the color temperature because now it's too mm, warm more more warm than I would love to be. So I will go with the white balance selector tool and just click here on this train and this is it. So I want this to be like a metallic gray and that's cool. Now let's go all the way down and here to hue saturation and luminance and I want to play with this. So I want to go first with the hue and I want to change the yellow from yellow to more orange. So let's boost all the way, why not? In this case, I will go all the way because I love this kind of orange and I will go with the blue and go more on the teal side. So something like this looks cool. Yeah, this can work. And also I can play with the purples a bit. So you can see the purples are still in this blue tone. So I can go, let me see, this is maybe too teal, maybe something, something like this would be cool. Mm, it's completely up to you. You can choose whatever you want. All right, now I will go to saturation and change some saturation there. So maybe to boost the bits of the red. So just a bit. Orange, let me see. I will not play with the skin tones. Yellows, yeah, I want to boost yellows a bit like this. Around 50. Looks cool. Right, and uh, let's go with the blue. So I want to lower saturation blue so this is this is cool too this is another type of look but I don't want that I want something like more like this and that's it all right now let's go to luminance and let's play with some luminance here so I will go with green maybe why with green oh no green sorry with yellow and uh, make make it a bit darker so I don't want this dark but just a touch maybe minus 12 or so 13 something there. That's cool. Right, then I will go with blue tones and make it a bit brighter. So something like this looks cool. And also I will go with the purple 
and do similar things. So you can see, I just want to make her a bit bright. And uh, also maybe with the aquatones, let me see. Yeah, it's inside. So I'll just maybe brighter this, but it's not too much visible with this. So I will leave it like that. Right, now that we are done with that, let's go and I want to play with the calibration tab here. So I want to play with the greens just a bit and you can see what happens if you mess with the greens. So I just want to move it a bit to the left and I like this kind of look. So that's it, I will not mess with everything here. I can go and play with saturation. You can see it will saturate it a bit more and have another cool look. I can go back to this later if I want, but now I like it this way. And now what I like to do, I like to go all the way up and play with the contrast and highlight shadows, etc. So let's do that. So let's boost the contrast a bit. Something like, I want to have a more contrasty image, a bit stronger blacks. So I'm boosting it pretty nice, like 34 or so. It's completely up to you. This is how I like what I see now on the screen. So after that, I will go with the shadows a bit, open them. Something like this looks cool. Maybe so much. This is this is pretty nice. And then also I want to lower the blacks. So this is too much, maybe something in between. Something around minus 25 for this situation looks pretty cool. And also I will play with the clarity and texture. So I will lower the clarity a bit for this image, like a little bit. And then I will bring back some details by adding some texture here, maybe even more. Let me see something around that. Let's zoom here. So yeah, this is cool. All right. And now let's do some vibrance and saturation. I want to desaturate a bit and to do vibrance thing a bit. So this is cool. If you don't know the difference between the vibrance and saturation, you have my video about that explained everything on the link right here. So check it out. All right. So this is practically it. Also, let's go a bit down and use the curse. You can add even more contrast by playing with the curse. I'll do just slightly, just a bit like that. And also, I will go down and add some bluish tint to the shadows. So let's go around 220-ish, like that. And uh, just add a bit of tone. And I also want to restrict some tones from the highlights. So go more towards the shadows like this. And also I will go with vignetting. I love to add vignette here to feather it a bit and maybe move it to the midpoint a bit. So this is it. This is, I'm done with this version. Let's go back and maybe add a bit of saturation here. Just a bit. So let me show you. Before and after before and after pretty big difference and that's cool and now you can save this as a preset both in photoshop or lightroom i will do here in lightroom you just need to go here on the plus icon on the left side create preset name your preset put in a folder i already made the same preset it's right here orange and teal subway so it's similar as you can see a bit different because every time you play with the sliders you will have a bit different result but this is cool and now with the preset that when you have a preset, it's cool that if you have similar images from the same environment, from the same uh, photo shoot, you can just go and apply preset to this one. So you can see this is before and this is with the preset. I really love this look. It's more contrasty and uh, the stairs, staircase and metal is more like uh, grayish, bluish. I really love it and uh, see these oranges that was I don't like this yellow, so this is much better. And I really love this look. So let's go apply it to another one. And this is before and this is after. Before and after, I really love this. Okay, so that was the first mood, first look, first variation, however you want it. And it's pretty easy to get something like that. You just need to move the sliders a bit left and right and that's it. Of course, you need to know what are you doing. So in case uh, you're not 100% clear why I moved those sliders in the way I did. Just rewind the video and watch it again. It's pretty simple. So I wanted to change the yellow towards the orange, change the blue towards the teals and add a little bit more contrast, etc. And that's it. All right. So now we'll show another variation, another mood that is completely different, opposite than this. And uh, we are done for today. So let's do it. 
I just created a virtual copy of the same file by right clicking and say create virtual copy and then I just reset all these settings because when you create a copy you'll have exactly the same thing so I'll press reset and that's it so I'll do this a few times and I did that because I don't want to mess with already uh, made the look I just want to start all over again so for this look we will go something completely opposite and I will start by going all the way down to color calibra calibration I want to recalibrate the colors so what I like to do, I like to go with the hue of the reds all the way towards the magenta. So I will not go like all the way to 100%, but maybe something around 60 or 70 for a start, we will see. And then with the blue, I will go opposite towards the purple. So you can see having something completely different. So this is cool, maybe around 30, 40 for stars. That's cool. And also I want to lower the saturation of blues a bit and uh, maybe to boost the saturation of reds something like this looks cool okay then we will go all the way up in the color section here and we will mess with the hue first but before that again I want to change the color balance so again I will do eyedropper tool click on the wagon and this is much better so this is much better maybe 2800 even bluisher why not so maybe 2850 that's cool something in between so I really like it how this looks on my screen right let's go back to hue and saturation now what I like to do I like to go and play with some orange because we have some purplish color now the opposite of pinkish purplish is more like yellowish greenish tone on the color windows are complementary colors so I want to do that so I want to make orange more towards the yellow more towards the green like that and uh, not, but not too much so something like that and also I want to play with some purples a bit like this mm, this is not bad and with some magenta I want to go with magenta all the way down around 80 or so so this is cool this this looks pretty nice and that's basically it so let's go to saturation right and now let's play with these lighters so let's start all the way down let's boost a bit saturation of the magenta just a bit not too much also the purple we can lower the purple to have something more like like this tone why not I don't want to have this too saturated so just a bit maybe minus 10 minus 8 and blue, let's play with the blue. We can boost the blue a bit to have this inside more saturated, why not? And also we can play with the yellows. So I can lower the saturation of yellows a bit. I don't want this too saturated. So something around 30 or so is cool. Maybe like that, yeah. Okay, now let's go to luminance and uh, let's start by lowering the luminance of the yellows a bit I want this to be darker so like that let's see greens maybe a bit of the greens and then I want to make everything brighter so this will be brighter this will be brighter and this will be brighter so it's completely up to you how bright you want to make it but this looks pretty cool right I will leave it like that Right, and now let's go to split toning and uh, I want to go more towards the purplish tones and add more purple in the shadows and yeah I want to restrict some highlights I want to uh, this hue in the shadows affect only the, the darkest shadows so something like this and maybe like that so this is cool and also let's go back to the original contrast highlight shadows etc so I want to boost the contrast a bit not too much this time I want to open the shadows just a bit right and lower the highlights see I want to lower the highlights but I want to open the whites a bit because by lowering the highlights I will lower them too much but I don't want this to be too bright but opening the whites I will make overall bit brighter those white parts and blacks I want to maybe just let me see 
I will not deal with blacks now. So maybe a bit of clarity, just a bit. And also let's go down to the curves. So this time I can play with the curves like this. I can add one point here, one point in the middle. I don't want these points to be moved. And I can just open the blacks like fade to have a bit of faded look. If I want, I can do that. So this is another look that you can choose. Again, it's completely up to you guys. I'm showing you just some possibilities, some variations. So maybe why not? This is cool. And also, let me see. This looks cool. Also, I will add some vignetting. So I really love to add a vignette because I can have pay, uh, have more attention on her than on the background. So this is cool. And that's basically it. So let me show you. Before and after, this is completely different look. So we have now two looks. Let me show you side by side. As you can see, this is first look and this is second look. Two completely different variations, different moods, etc. So you can choose whatever you want. You can also go back and let me show you. If I go back to this one, all right, I can even play with the haze maybe a bit. Maybe I want to add some haze here if that's my style or I can change the color temperature, I can change the all the way down, I can change these uh, calibrations, so maybe more like this or it's completely up to you, your creativity, so it depends on what kind of look you, you want to achieve, maybe something like this, etc. But also what is cool is that you can now again save this, create preset and I will name it purple, purple mood, I don't know, whatever and uh, basically everything here is okay checked and that's it and now i can go to this photo that i really love on this mood and i can just see how it looks with a purple mood not bad so this is again cool cool look with this purplish tones so let me show you this is the original photo if we add a purplish look we'll have something like that if we add this orange teal look we will have something like that so two completely different looks from the same photo and this is the original one so it's really cool to be able to change the look of your photo just by playing with some sliders both in photoshop and lightroom right guys so that's basically it for today i really hope that you like this episode that you get something really useful out of this that now you can play with your photos even more in photoshop or lightroom and change some mood of your photos and make them even more interesting in case you have some questions you can ask me down there in the comment section below i'll be glad to answer it also guys if you like this episode if you appreciate this content just press the like button down below, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe in case you're not already and also ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes. If you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better, you can do that by visiting my Patreon page, the link is down there in the description and you will get some things in return, so check it out. And also make sure to follow the link for Skillshare, get two months completely free and enjoy the content there. Have fun experiment and see you guys in my next fun episode. Bye bye.